welcome back to my channel today we have an Amazon haul it's a big one I think it is it's a lot of clothing items accessories I do have some beauty items miscellaneous items but we're going to do the fashion first because I feel like I haven't posted enough Amazon fashion videos lately so we're gonna start off with the fashion um, also at the end of this video I will explain something um, that's going on in my life I did share over on Instagram already just briefly and I just want to do the same thing here on this platform on YouTube because I know not everyone that watches my videos here um, actually has an Instagram page and follows me there so I do want to share with you guys because I think it's only fair because you guys do notice some differences um, in my mannerisms or things like that or how I'm feeling my mood um, things like that so I will address that at the end of the video but yeah before we get started please like and subscribe to my channel I would really really appreciate it drop a comment um, turn on the notification bell you can also follow me on Instagram if you are not doing so already I do have TikTok, but I don't really use it that often um, but I will also link my TikTok down below and yeah let's start off with all of these fashion items I have a lot of fall pieces and let's just dive right into it and you guys are going to have to forgive me again because these items are not steamed i am always limited on time because well i'm a mom of two i have a four-year-old and a three-year-old so i did not steam these items but hopefully you guys can forgive me this video and hopefully you will forgive me for a few more videos just until both of my kids are in school and then i will have the time to make everything look as pretty as I used to. So the first item I want to talk about is this two-piece set. It is a corduroy material. I always have trouble pronouncing that word. Um, but this is what it looks like. It does come in other colors. I decided to go with the black version. The pants does have pockets on it and the waistband is pretty stretchy. I love this like oversized top I would just pair this with like some black sneakers and a black like crop top you can even do like a full-length top if you want to a t-shirt um, even a sports bra like a black sports bra for an all black look but you can definitely mix up the colors maybe do a white tank and white sneakers um, again you can get this in different colors I think it's perfect for the fall time just because it's it's thick but not super thick it still gives you a lightweight feel so I thought this was really cute and then of course you can pair this with any other top and wear it by itself and of course you can also pair this with any other pair of bottoms and just create like different outfits just from this two-piece set thumbs up if you're excited for all of the fall fashion that I am about to bring you because I love fall so this is my time to highlight that in all of my videos so I also picked up this again corduroy um, jacket. Um, you can wear it as a shirt, you can wear it as a jacket. It is a nice light to medium weight material similar to this one where it is thick but not super thick so it's definitely perfect for the beginning of fall or you can layer it and wear it into the colder months of fall and then this also comes in different colors. I went with the gray, white, and beige but it does come in other color variations. I love the color block detail so pretty the back of it is just all white I love this one I cannot wait to wear it again something I would just pair with like a tank top so next up we have another jacket shirt jacket however you want to wear it this one is really really cute so the only thing I will say about this one is that while it fits me I wish I had sized up one for it to be a little bit more oversized I think I would have enjoyed the look of it if it was a tiny bit bigger so like the arms and stuff fit um just like for instance if i wanted to like button it up i couldn't i mean i probably could but it would be it wouldn't look cute you know what i mean like it would be uncomfortable so if you are worried about it like closing then size up but if you do not care if it's closed and you want to leave it open then you can get your regular size um, but it is really cute love the contrasting you know plaid and denim so this part is like a sweater material and this part is a denim material a nice medium weight jacket so not super thick another great fall piece and then I'm sorry these items that are black probably have my dog's hair all over it but I got this two-piece workout set and I simply got this workout set because I thought it was cute that was the only reason why I got it so it's actually a crisscross um, top so you wear it like that so it's really cute 
it's definitely sexy sorry the pants are inside out um so yeah if you want a cute workout set to impress your gym crush like this one is really cute um so yeah it comes in different colors i just went with the black version and something like this i would just throw like a long white button-up shirt over it if i'm a little bit like self-conscious about it um that's definitely how i would wear this as like a casual outfit too just like that white shirt and some white sneakers and that's a really cute look next up i have a few more dressy pieces you might be hearing the fire truck going by um so yeah these are a little bit more dressy this is my pretty garden i really really like that amazon seller i think their items are so cute so this is actually a jumpsuit it does come in other colors so the bottom looks like that and it is stretchy at the bottom the material is light to medium weight the waistband here is stretchy and it's an off-the-shoulder jumpsuit it is so cute and comfortable so it does have pockets here too so that's really really cute I just went with the black version because I figured it was safe and then I got this really cute sexy fun dress which is like surprisingly like perfect for me I just really like the way it's cut so it's long sleeves so your arms are covered but you do have a little bit of a cutout detail in the stomach area but it's not super low it's like the perfect length on me and then you do have a little slit at the side too which again is not too high up so it's like perfect it's like you're really covered because it's a midi length dress it's long sleeves but then you do have this little slit little cutout detail so it looks and appears like really sexy but you're really covered up you're actually not showing a lot of skin but kind of makes you feel sexy like you are but you're not so i wouldn't worry too much about that and then i got this really pretty dress so this dress does come in other colors it's a really nice length so this is a really good transitional dress from summer to fall comes in a bunch of different colors this one is really cute because long sleeves and it's a two-way dress so you can actually wear it like this um i know this is not going to be the best way to show you but obviously i will insert some footage of me wearing it but you can wear it as like a crisscross in the front with a little peekaboo detail you can wear it that way i think that's my favorite way um that, that's my favorite way I saw it on people in the reviews like I loved that way more than this way so you can also wear it this way and then you could tie it in the back for the peekaboo detail to be in the back but I just loved the front tie front detail kind of like this actually so this is actually um, a shirt that you've seen a thousand times on my channel um, I will link it again down below for you this is like one of my best selling shirts you guys love this shirt it comes in a ton of different colors say no more like this is like the 10th time i've purchased this shirt because i wear it so often again bunch of colors i have it in like five different colors like it's an obsession this shirt that i'm wearing um so yeah you can wear this dress multiple ways then i also have this dress which i've seen on so many people and i'm like i need it like i need it so bad um so it comes in different versions so the original version i saw was like a short sleeve version i was going to get that one but then i saw this seller had it in the long sleeve version and i liked that because i can wear it as a long sleeve dress or i can roll up the sleeves if i get a little bit hot so i really like that detail um it does have the button up thing here so if you want to roll it up and like like button it you know what i'm talking about like when you roll it up and then you how can i show you this thing you know where you pull it out and then roll it up and then you attach this part to the button I mean I know it's a hot mess but you understand what I'm saying so this one is really cute because of the ruching detail in the front then it does come with the strings attached that you can tie any way you like really really cute it does come in different colors I think you can see that this is a satiny material it's definitely medium weight it's not like a cheap satin material um, if it's too thin that's where I have an issue with satin but this one feels really soft it feels like silk it doesn't even feel like satin but this one i highly recommend also because it's the perfect length it goes past my knees um you can wear this into the office i think it's a really really good like every occasion dress work um brunch like date night like this is a really good one like get it and then i found this top which has a little bit of a peekaboo detail it does come in other colors so it gives you that peplum style um for those days you don't want to wear anything short or cropped um you want to still be cute and fun with this little flirty detail but you don't want to show your stomach too much i guess um this is the perfect top for that and this part here 
is adjustable so you basically can tie it um, any way you like to fit your chest size so I really like this top and the last top that I have to show you is this one I don't know randomly I saw this top on Amazon this one is definitely more of like a going out top um, it was like four bucks four bucks like I'm definitely getting that like this is a cute like high-waisted jeans top cute black heels type of night black purse so I got this top for just like special occasions when I'm going out and I want to feel extra cute or a little bit trendy because I do feel like that's a trendy top um, this purse I did wear to a wedding that I went to and I love it it held up really well I thought it was so cute it sparkled the right way it does come in different colors the quality is great the chain is detachable if you just want to wear it as a clutch I wore it as a handbag um it's magnetic up here so the inside is a little bit dirty because i did use it but it fit a lot of items in here it basically had all my necessities in there my phone some makeup and this part here does have like like stitching here stitching um cloth here um so nothing falls out through the side or anything like that so your items are nice and secure this is also really cute just to display so i got that purse um and then i got two pairs of shoes so this is the first pair i got and i thought these were a little bit different i don't have anything like these these are mules flats um that's what they look like they come in different colors but i thought this one was perfect for fall so they're basically like a sweater material like can you see the detailing of that so i liked that detailing i thought they looked really cozy and cute and perfect for my basic fall outfits jeans t-shirt cardigan these shoes so i had to get these they fit true to size i did get these in a size eight and then i also got a pair of boots um these do come in different colors i went with the basic black pair and they are so cute on i think i'm going to have to get some other colors so this is what the boot looks like it has a nice little heel not too high like the perfect heel for me where i don't feel like i'm walking flat on the ground because i cannot do really flat shoes for extended periods of time so i feel like this gives me enough height um that's what the heel the heel that's what the what do you call this oh my god the sole looks like it does have a zipper at the side true to size that's what the interior looks like really comfortable i think they look way more expensive than what they actually were i think at the time they were like I want to say $39 somewhere around there Amazon always changes their pricing that's why I never tell you the prices of these items because they change all the time so like for instance that shirt was four dollars when I bought it but right now it could be ten dollars like I have no idea that's why I don't specify the pricing but I really like these I cannot wait to wear these booties I love a good pair of booties um, so those are all of the fashion items I don't think I have any more fashion items for you guys now let's move on to the miscellaneous items um, they're in no particular order I do have two items that I'm going to insert some footage of so the first item let me just tell you is this knife set um, I love it it's pretty affordable the knives are great I'm enjoying it I have no complaints about it yet it hasn't rusted um, I've had it for I want to say a month now so far so good I do enjoy it and I just really liked the price on it I also got this pot set which I've been loving as well um, no complaints um, both of these items I believe are Amazon essentials so it's from their Amazon brand from their own brand so I do really like the items and then I also got this little organizer thingy for the pots and the pans you will see here on the screen as well what I'm talking about I really am enjoying that too it definitely helps me out save space because everything is now um, vertical so it went from horizontal mess to vertical organization and I love it so those things you would have seen the b-roll um, so the next item is just something I got for my planner so it's really small and minimal so it's basically this thing here it actually sticks on to whatever you want it to stick on to and it's a placeholder for your pen so I'm going to show you what I mean um, so this is my planner and my planner does not have any slots for pens so you can stick this literally onto the planner if you want to but I didn't want to do that so I stuck it onto like this cardstock material and basically like my planner right here has like slots okay everything is falling out um so because my planner has slots right here i basically just stick this card in there with this thing attached to it and now 
I always have a pen readily readily available if I need it to be. I usually stick it down here actually because I don't like it showing on top. So yeah, I stick it there and then you don't see it, but you do see the pen is there. Um, this thing is not from Amazon, but it is from the container store. Um, if I can link this as well, I will. So basically it's just like a little magnetic pouch that you can keep all your pens and highlighters in. I do really love this thing though. Um, so it's magnetic as you can see. Um, so your little pouch stays there. Hopefully they still have it for you guys um, to shop if you want to check it out. And then on the inside, this planner is actually from Amazon. So this planner does have like a little folder envelope thingy here so you can stick some, I don't know, receipts in there and stuff. And I like this planner so far because it gives me enough space to write in like my monthly things that I need to write in, maybe like doctor's appointments, things like that. And then it also goes by weekly. So that's what the weekly page looks like. It gives me a lot of room to write in whatever I want. Let me take it out so I can actually show you what the exterior, the cover of the planner looks like. So that's what it looks like. Um, it just says planner. Um, it's really, really pretty. I love the floral print. This I tied on. That does not come with the planner. And then in the back here, you have notes. So you can jot down some notes back there as well. This goes from July of this year to June of next year. So I love this planner. And then it also comes with this thingy that you can use it like that in case you don't want to get like, you know, like a case cover for your planner. Um, the planner itself is really, really great. I do, I am enjoying it. Um, and then next up, so next up I do have some random beauty products. So the first thing is this travel makeup brush and sponge, um, organizers. So they're sold separately. I know they like match perfectly, but they are sold separately. So this is perfect for me for my everyday like purse like say I'm going out and I know I'm going to be out for a while and I want to touch up my makeup but I don't want to get my makeup brushes you know all over the interior of my purse this is perfect it's silicone it's wipeable and I do have some brushes in there these are from Morphe if they still have them available I will link them down below I've been using them since spring of this year good quality brushes like I love them um, yeah, so this thing is really, really cool. You can fit a ton of brushes in here. Um, I just have two in here currently, but you can fit like your eye brushes, eyeshadow brushes, blending brush. And these are the larger brushes and they fit in here and I can still fit, um, again, the eyeshadow brushes, you know, smaller brushes in here too. So I got that. And then this one is for your beauty blender. So this is perfect for if you're traveling. Maybe I need to do my makeup on the go or touch it up. You just squeeze it and just like pop your beauty blender in there and it's vented so your beauty blender will dry. So I really liked the aesthetic of these two items, to be honest, like definitely sold me. And then I also got this little, I don't even know what you call this, like cosmetic sponge case and sponge um so basically i got this so i can use my charlotte tilbury um airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder in the shade medium on the go so this powder i love using to set my makeup and also to touch up my makeup but as you can see it doesn't have like it doesn't have a space for like a powder brush so that bothered me a lot, so I got this for that reason, so I just carry these two together. Um, so that's what the makeup sponge looks like. It does come in a pack of two, so you get another one of these. And then, like, you know, once you're done using this, you can use any sponge you have and just, like, use this little case to carry it in. Honestly, I just love how aesthetically pleasing all of these items look, so I got those beauty items and then these are also so random but um for the wedding i did have on some like heavy like indian jewelry and i really needed to keep them in my hair i will insert a picture if i have i don't think i have a picture of what these pins look like in my hair but they work they're definitely for like special occasions because they're like sparkly silver bobby pins like they're so so pretty like I highly highly recommend them like they definitely stayed in my hair all day all night like danced in them like they did not budge like I highly highly recommend these like they're so pretty and then these I also highly recommend these are by I think it's pronounced kitsch um, these are 100 pieces, no snag elastics, and these are the best ones I have ever used by far in my entire life. I like using these types of elastics on my girls, um, on my daughter's hair, and 
these do not break I was using ones that I also purchased from Amazon like a huge tub I think it was so affordable I think it was like five dollars or even ten dollars for like a thousand pieces but they kept breaking like these do not break like you can pull them stretch them like they do not break and then when I take them out of her hair too at the end of the night they're, they're not broken like they do not break like I love these so much um, they do come in other colors I think I got this in the brown or something like that but I believe I saw it in like black and like other colors too so get these don't even get the other ones like I used to get because they do not work after using those there is no comparison and then these also work really well these are the kitsch pro essential bobby pin 45 in here and these are the blonde ones um obviously because i have you know color in my hair but they come in black they come in brown so you can match them to your hair color these also stay in your hair all day do not move like i forgot i had them in my hair until i went to go take a shower and i was like what is that i forgot i had it in so these are so great um these are obviously for everyday use these ones are definitely more for like special occasion they both work so so well highly recommend them the other thing that is beauty related is this tiktok viral product um this is the v-line lifting hydro gel collagen mask with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera extract it's supposed it's supposed to tighten and define your jawline eliminate double chin and sagging skin um I feel like it works I don't think it's like a miracle product but I do feel like it helps you out a little bit um, maybe I haven't used enough of these or used it long enough to really understand why it's such a viral product but I will say I do see a difference I've used three so far um, I have two left and I do like it I feel like it does make a slight difference um, so yeah maybe those people use the product every day or three to five times a week I don't know but I only used it three times um, over like two weeks so yeah but in those and in, in that time frame I do feel like I do see a little bit of a difference so I would recommend this product um, but I guess it just depends on how often you use it um, then this is the new brand of dog food I am giving my dog I know this video is so random this is Merrick little plates for small breed dogs um, obviously they have different types of food flavors for your type of dog size whatever um, so my dog is a mini Australian Shepherd so the reason why I switched his dog food is because I was in PetSmart and the guy working in PetSmart was telling me that I forgot what I was buying him I think I was purchasing blue buffalo and he was like that is really not the greatest brand for your dog so I asked him well what is what do you recommend what's the best brand of dog food for your dog because I thought that was a pretty good one um i guess apparently not so he said merrick and i said okay i'll try it out so i ended up coming home and like looking it up and like researching it a little bit and um i had good reviews um so do most of the dog foods so i don't know according to him this is one of the better brands like really good for your dog so i tried it out my dog loves it um I already ordered him a second bag of this stuff and my dog is a really picky eater so I mean I don't know if you guys know like the best of the best dog food brands for dogs like let me know down below in the comments because I'm always willing to feed him something better so I got that he's loving it so far and then I just got this because I thought it was aesthetically pleasing so it's just a little jar with black matches so I just liked the look of it so you can like sit it next to your candles you can sit this in your bathroom like on your counter in your kitchen like I don't know I just thought it was so so cute um, so this is the extra sticker that you can use to scratch at the bottom so that's how you would light your match I actually haven't scratched any of them so far and I'm looking at it now and the tips of the matches kind of shimmer a little bit so let's actually see real time if this works okay yeah it works <laughs> so yeah works and then you get a backup little scratchy thing for when this one you know gets worn out okay and the last product i have to show you guys is this item that i have not used yet i need to actually set it up and see if it works well um this was also a product i saw a bunch of people talking about so because i am a content creator i did get it so basically it's for um 
like it's to get like those hard angle shots like normally you see how the camera is just like facing me this is actually going to face down so like pretend I need a shot under here um, the camera usually is like this it'll bend like that so I can actually get the shot like maybe I want to take a picture of my nails I can have this standing up just like this and put my hands underneath and be able to take the shot or else I would have to do this like you understand what I mean I know I will I will insert a visual because obviously I sound crazy right now but it also comes with a Bluetooth remote and I believe it also comes with a light so you can use it both ways according to this little diagram that you probably can't see you can use it like facing you and then you can use it like bending it down like this so that is everything I got um, in this video oh actually no it's not I forgot to show you guys a bunch of videos ago this new watch band that I got from Amazon so this is not new at this point but I love it I'm still using it it's great I love these watch bands from Amazon because they hold up really well and they do last a long time the face covering here is also from Amazon I showed this to you guys a long time ago in an old video um, so yeah that face watch band all from Amazon this bracelet you probably have seen a thousand times already but I never like showed it showed it to you so that's what the bracelet looks like it definitely reminds me of a bracelet that a lot of Guyanese like older Guyanese people have like babies like this is a more affordable version of that bracelet this ring is from Amazon this necklace is also from Amazon the top like I mentioned so yeah that's pretty much the end of the Amazon haul and let's just quickly talk about something that has been um, bothering me um, for a while now since April um, so um, how do I even say it like it's just it's so simple but it's kind of hard to say um, without giving away like too many details because I do need to keep some things private um, but I have a lot going on and one of the things I do want to share with you guys because you guys are so sweet you're always asking if I'm okay because I guess you can tell and no I'm not okay but I will be um, but one of the things that has been really bothering me um, sorry I was checking the baby monitor I get a little fidgety <laughs> when I don't know how to say things um, so basically long story short I found out back in April that the man that I thought was my father is not my father he is not my biological dad um, and that came with a whole mudslide of emotions and feelings and questions and what ifs and a bunch of things like that and I basically found out by accident all my life I've heard um, you look different from your family um, and I don't think people meant it in like a mean way or as a you know like they didn't mean it in a mean way they just made an observation and I would always hear that my whole entire life and I thought nothing of it because you know genetics play a huge part and you know whatever I didn't think anything of it I really didn't so basically I was gifted a 23andMe DNA test and um, I took the test for fun um, I didn't take it because I thought I was going to get the results that I got um, I took it for fun just to see my genetic makeup and it also has like health um, it also has like health screening on it so that's really great if you're someone that needs some health screenings if you want to dive a little bit more into your health that's really great I do suggest it for that but I also have to warn you sometimes people do receive um, results that may trigger them a little bit um, so yeah be careful with that as well I took the test I got my results so one of my sisters my eldest sister took the test for the health portion of it she needed some you know health information whatever um, and I guess for fun too to see her genetic makeup and hers came back full Indian um, mine says I'm Indian Native American European it has a very small percentage of like African American and something else like something else I can't remember at this point but the Native American and the European stood out to me obviously I knew I would have Indian in me and that would be my most that would be you know on the top of my genetic percentage um, because I am Guyanese I am from Guyana and um, Europeans brought um, I don't want to say slaves indentured laborers from India um, to Guyana and other parts of the world not just Guyana other Caribbean West Indian countries even Fiji um, 
so forth. So they were brought as indentured laborers. So I knew I had Indian in me based off of that um, and based off my looks. Um, so when my sisters came back and it said she was full Indian and I had all of these different things in me. Mine said I had this, this, this and that and I was just like something's not right but I didn't want to accept it and I did post on my um, stories when we first got the results about how our test results came back so different and a lot of you guys my followers and friends did like message me in a nice way saying I think basically insinuating that something was off and I knew I knew you guys were saying it in a nice way and you just wanted me you wanted to say something without saying something and yeah I kind of figured something was wrong since then but I just again I didn't want to accept it fast forward maybe like six months after that I I'm just like no I need to I need to like own up to this now and I need to do some research and basically like our percentage matched to each other is that of like half sisters and you know I just I basically basically I had to ask my mom and she told me the truth she said I was the one who has a different father I have um I have three older sisters who I thought we were all from the same mother and father turns out I am the only one that does not have the same father and um, they all have the same mother and father um, because I did ask them all to take a DNA test afterwards too so they all came back full sisters the three of them I am the only one that came back half sister to all of them and the sad part for me is my younger sister so my dad, um, my parents got divorced a long, long time ago when I was little. Um, and my dad did remarry and I have a younger sister, but now, you know, like we wouldn't match if she ever took the test because she's not my biological sister. And things like that have been like, you know, mentally draining. Like obviously my bond with my family, my sisters, like nothing changes. Like we're all still sisters. It doesn't matter if we're half sisters, but it does mess with you mentally and emotionally and then there's a whole side of it where now I have to wonder about who my father is who the who my real father is who that family is what they're like are they good people I'm I'm pretty sure they are I'm hoping they are would they accept me probably not um that's what I'm thinking again this is just all what ifs um it's just all of the details of everything have really, really, really messed with me because not only am I finding out my father, who I thought was my father, is not my father, I'm also finding out that my biological father is not just like Indian Guyanese, he's Native American. His, um, I believe his mother is half white, half Native American. So, like, things like that. I'm also learning I'm not the same culture fully as I thought. Like, Guyana is the country, but we do have different religions, um, different cultures, like Native American, um, the Europeans, like I said, came over to originally bring indentured slaves, slaves, I keep saying slaves, I'm sorry, indentured laborers from India. So like all of those things play into this mind game that I have going on. And a little bit of backstory, my father, the man who I thought was my father, he left when I was four. He wasn't really in my life. I didn't see him again until I was like, I wanna say 14 years old. And then I would see him randomly um, here and there throughout my life into my 20s. Um, he did pass away a few years ago. So he's no longer alive. So I can't really ask him anything even if I wanted to um, but I was told that he did he did kind of know I wasn't his he had he had an idea that I wasn't his um, so I it's just a lot of things I don't even know why I'm saying all these things now it kind of just like is word vomit at this point I'm not someone who typically likes to share details of my life but I wanted to share because I'm kind of desperate to find him. I don't even know if he would want me to find him. Um, according to my mom, he did know about me. Um, so he knew I existed. So I don't know. It's it's a bunch of like scary what ifs. What if I do find him, but he doesn't want to be found? Um, that kind of thing. Or maybe he, he does 
want to be found. I don't know. Um, apparently, I have an older brother too. So the main reason why I'm telling you guys this entire thing is because I do want to find them still. I do want some type of closure. Maybe, hopefully, I can get that. Um, I don't have factual information. Um, so it's really hard for me to find them except for doing those DNA tests and hope and hoping someone eventually one day pops up as a close relative of mine. Basically, I got as far as I could get in my search for him because I did get someone over in Guyana to look up records and names and they could not find anything. Um, and this person, um, this person helped me out because it was a favor to my cousin. So this person looked up all that information. He has access to everything and he could not find anything. So I could not... I cannot, I, I don't know where to go from here. I felt like, I felt defeated in that moment because I felt like I went to the highest point I could go and my search still came back blank. So, Guyana is a country where everyone, everyone knows everyone, but it kind of is, or they know of someone you know kind of thing, or, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Um, so I'm hoping, like, maybe I'll be able to find him that way. Someone knows of him or knows of a family member or a distant relative or a friend and I can find him that way. So his name is Richard Boodoo. That's the information I was given. Um, he should be in his 70s. My brother should be in his 40s. I don't know my brother's name. Um, I was born 1989. Um, he's from Essequibo that's in Guyana but he was living in Georgetown that's where I was born for a while um he used to work at banks I believe um I believe that's like the liquor warehouse or something like that um so yeah I don't know I don't know I guess I'm just desperate and I hope I can get some closure whether it's good or bad at least I just want to know you know what I mean I just want answers I want to know I want to know where I come from, who I come from, what I am. Um, I know who I am, I know what I've done with my life, and I, I understand that, I do, but I want to know my backstory, I guess, basically. I want to know, I just want to know, you know, good or bad. So, yeah, that's what's been going on with me, well, one of the things that's been going on with me, but that is the thing I wanted to share. And it was, it was really devastating finding out at first. Like, all of the details and everything that comes with it. And, like, it, it was just a lot. It was a lot to deal with. Like, constantly crying. Like, it was just a lot. On top of everything else I have going on in my life, it was just, like, it could not have come at a worse time. So that information was just, like, it really, really came at the worst time, but, I mean, life is what it is. But, yeah, this is just my very small way of maybe, hopefully, finding my biological family one day. Hoping they accept me and hoping we can have a relationship because I would, I would like that. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's what's been going on with me. Um, for those of you that do not follow me on Instagram, that is... The information I feel like you got a lot more information than the people who follow me on Instagram did you got a lot more um, so yeah thank you guys for watching and supporting me please like and subscribe everything is listed down below in my description box and yeah that's it wish me luck and I hope you guys stay safe and have a great day I'll see you in my next video bye